Okay, y'all, so here are the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need one and a half pounds of sirloin steak, one white onion sliced, one cup of mushrooms right there, a tablespoon of olive oil, three cups of beef broth. That's what's in that, that's what's in the um, jar right there. You're gonna need some Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, flour, a one fourth cup of flour. And you're gonna also need, you're gonna also need your egg white noodles. Everything you see here came out of my prepper pantry. So this is a prepper pantry meal. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get busy. You're also going to need a fourth a cup of salted butter. So first you want to slice your steak, thin slices. If there's any fat on your steak, you might want to cut that off if you don't want that in your pasta. I'm gonna cut this fat off. And toss it. Do the next one. Now you're just gonna slice it the opposite way. Just depends on how big you want your meat to be. That size is usually good for me. Now you wanna take a fourth cup of flour. Well, let me stop. So I'm just gonna spread my meat out. I'm gonna use a fourth a cup of flour, quarter cup, however you wanna say it. And I'm gonna spread this all over. And you just wanna make sure you get all over the uh, steak because this is gonna work as a thickener for later. And later, if it's not thick enough for you, you can always add some cornstarch to make a slurry and that'll thicken it up. Now we're gonna sit this aside. So in here I have some olive oil heating. I'm about to turn it on and let that heat up. We're about to cut up one onion and eight ounces of mushrooms. It's a different knife, y'all. I didn't cut that even at all.
thought my husband had had this before I asked him. I said, he said, what are you making? I said, some beef stroganoff. And he said, what is that? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I better make some. You can use ground beef to do this. You don't have to use the steak. You just have to do it a little different. I'm using my Dutch oven. I'm give it a light chop because these are already small. So now we're gonna take our onions and our mushroom and we're gonna add them to our Dutch oven where I have one tablespoon of olive oil heating up in it. going to cook this down until it gets soft and translucent for the onions. Doesn't take long for the mushroom. In this pot right here, I have a little bit of olive oil and I just put some kosher salt in there. Um, we're going to bring this to a boil and we're going to add our egg noodles to it. So the onions are where they need to be. They're translucent. Now I'm just going to add them to a bowl. We're gonna let this brown. So now, <clears throat> so now our water is boiling and we're gonna add in our noodles, our egg noodles. So this is browning up really good. If you're using ground beef, you would ground your beef and then take your ground beef out and then add your flour to it. That's the only difference. But we added our flour to our steak, so it's doing just fine. So don't worry about it sticking to the pan like this right here. That's all flavor at the bottom of that pot, y'all. So now we're gonna add our three cups of beef broth. See how that calmed that down. And then two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I think I said that right that time. So now you wanna add back in your onions and your mushrooms. Bring that up to a simmer. Once it gets to a simmer, you should see the beef broth thickening up from the flour that we used on the um, steak. And if it's not thick as you want it to be, then that's when you would make your slurry with the cornstarch and the water. And so our noodles are about done. So we're about to take those out and drain them. You wanna add salt and pepper and sour cream. I'll make sure I put the ingredients down in the description box as much um, how much I'm using that is. Give it a good stir. Yeah. 
so the noodles are done it's time to add those to the sauce and then we're going to give it a nice stir make sure we cover it all up so that's it for the recipe if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up once you get through stirring it up all you got to do is plate it and i'm going to show you what that plate looks like with some homemade yeast rolls i just made again like the video and subscribe to the channel i appreciate you being here and remember i love you but god loves you more he created only one you so be the best you that you can be and when you are you can go out and spray god's love with distance